I think one of the things I really like about the, the conference is the fact that it's global. There are people here from several different companies and countries, so we're able to kind of meet and hear what's going on across Europe and just meet people, all of our international partners that we don't get the chance to see very often. This kind of conference is, uh, gives us the opportunity for, for exchange and, and dialogue, so um, it um, gives you the opportunity to, 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 to give you different perspective for your daily work. The papers are quite inspiring. Uh, and I think there's stuff I can go, I can use when I get back to my office. Maybe methodologies I can tweak, things I can sell into my clients, things I can do to help my clients. And the other thing that I like about it is it's a friendly conference. So there's lots of people to chat to, to share opinions with, to have a beer with after all the work's done. I'm enjoying the event today. I think it's it's really uh, thought provoking, uh, and uh, some of the speakers have been really inspiring. Uh, I was really interested in some of the different perspectives which were which were shown today. So the idea of kind of quantum phys physics being applied to qualitative research, which I thought was a very interesting uh, perspective, and uh, something I'm going to be taking back with me today. One of the things I enjoyed, especially about yesterday, was there was lots of interactivity, and especially like the, set, the theatre session, I thought it was fantastic. Um, so it's really great to get some new um, ideas and new innovations and um, sort of a new angle on qual research. Today at the Qual 360 I shared our story about how we used a different way of market research online communities where we have our business interacting with our customers directly so without moderation without a research in the middle. What I like about this setting is that it's quite small scale so it's easy to interact with other professionals in the field and to really uh, hear their experiences and, and ask questions and uh, uh, and, and relate to each other's uh, cases. Sometimes we tend to, uh, we are late adopters and not so much innovators. I wanted to uh, put it out there for our colleagues uh, and leverage upon the collective wisdom of the industry. What should we do? That's the reason why I was here talking about something which is completely new and, um, and different. I learned a lot. Uh, I'm also, I hope that the people also learn from me. I learned the new methodologies, uh, great connections. This is incredible. Uh, it's, it's industry. It's good to know that we are suffering the same things, even from the client side or, or from the agency side. There's a lot of enthusiasm for qualitative research. It's very hot right now. Um, and I, I see the, the industry evolving. People have an open mind on how different tools can contribute to the overall insight. And I think there was a good recognition in the room that there were new ideas, there was things like mobile technology, online communities that all play a part. It's no longer just about, online, about traditional focus groups. I think the near future will be very interesting for qualitative researchers as they really have to adapt to, uh, to the new environment with, uh, with the coming of uh, big data. Qualitative research has to adapt to survive, just as uh, quantitative research will have to adapt to survive. Um, and the question is, uh, how well will qualitative researchers adapt to that new situation? It really stimulated me and revived my interest to some extent, and it refreshed me, which is what these things should be about. And I couldn't recommend it highly enough as far as the way I feel.